Hello guys and welcome to the demo of Nakiva Backup and Replication. Today we will learn how to create first backup and replication job with Nakiva. So I'm just going to double click on Nakiva Backup and Replication icon. It starts the web browser. As you know Nakiva has a browser based interface. I have to enter some simple credentials and click login. Here we are inside Nakivo. Uh, first of all we will go to configuration and discover our infrastructure. By infrastructure I mean a vCenter, a standalone ESXi or ESX host. Click discover. I'm going to discover two vCenters in my example here. Alright, we are done. So we've discovered two standalone, two separate vCenters. I exit configuration. And uh, the intuitive interface allows you to understand that to create a backup job or replication job, you just need to click on the button over here, create, select backup job, and it starts the job creation wizard. Uh, on the first step we have to choose VMs to backup and uh, this can be like entire vCenter it will just include everything under it it can be a cluster, a host or just a couple of VMs so for the matter of this video let's stick to one VM next on the second step we have to choose the backup repository and since I'm going to perform a local backup I'm going to select a local repository next. Third step is our beautiful scheduler because here you can set any combinations of time for your jobs to run so for instance you can run the job once a day from some specific time to some time for example from 12 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, specifying the time zone and the days of the week you can also run periodically every one minute for instance which will give you like almost continuous data protection or let's say one hour so it's up to you uh, for this video I can also click here and just run the job on demand next and the last step is to specify the backup options we will provide the job a name it will be a local backup we have couple of options here which we can select so we can enable and use the CBT uh, compression of data during transfer as well as the encryption of data during transfer the last option right here running an application aware mode is needed if you're going to uh, back up some mission critical applications such as exchange so we don't need this option here and in fact we can leave all the options unselected on the right hand side uh, we need to select the number of recovery points to be stored and let's go with the maximum number for a backup job with 100 recovery points finish so after going through four simple steps taking us less than one minute uh, we have our first backup job created and I'm going to run the job while the job is running I'm going to create a replication job and I go to the same button create choose replication job and I will select let's say two VMs next on the second step I have to select the replica location and let it be the second vCenter I select the data store as well as the network and in the advanced setup you can specify a different target location for each VM inside the same job so for instance let this client database go to the target host 02 and this Ubuntu server will end up on the same host where it's situated right now I have to specify a different data store and a different network next the third step is just the same so we will run the job on demand and the last step to provide the job name local replication I will not use any of the options here 
in the advanced options you can give the name of the append so let it be test on the right hand side I need to provide the number of recovery points to be stored and I'd like to store 20 recovery points I click finish and the replication job is also created I can easily run the job by clicking here run job confirm and the job will start running so that's how you create backup and replication job with Nakivo it's very simple very intuitive very fast you don't need to spend lots of your time and uh, I'm looking forward to record new videos thank you very much and have a good day